All right, so I have a program called Population of Organization. Uh, my name is K.R. Patel, and I'm writing this program as my project one. Uh, so this program will display the approximate size of population of organization. It will use the, te uh, the text box to allow the user to enter starting number average of increase and a number of days uh, so here is the entry we need to add and the output should be like this um, so let's begin the program all right so here let's start with the current uh, let's input so capture inputs so let's call the first thing organization starting number as a population. Population is equal to as uh, this number should be in integer. So let's do integer input uh, starting numbers of organization. Starting number of Organizations. All right. Um. All right. Uh, one more fantasy over here. All right. Okay. So now, um. Uh, this second thing is in daily increase so D daily increase daily increase it's a person date so let's take a float uh, so for that need average daily increase Which daily increase the fantasy and and all right. Um, next thing we need um multiplying days. Uh, let's call multiplying days. Find is uh, this thing it's a number so we are taking uh, input so integer so integer input the input data should be a um, number of days to multiply so numbers of days to multiply This one here it shouldn't be this one here. That's why. Okay. Now enter already. Go ahead. All right. So let's call the third uh, daily inquiry. So uh, daily increase it's in a percentage. So let's um, do a daily increase in a um, decimal point. So daily. Increase convert in a decimal. So for that need um divided equal to so decimal daily increase divided by hundred. You can write down the uh, daily increase divided by hundred, but that's the easy way we can write um so convert in decimal value and um what we need we need um just the first the third title thing so they they approximate and population and they approximate it's um up and down so let's see what i can do here 
So first, this is called printing table title. So print the and there is a tab in between, so we need a tab population let's close. Now we need a looping, um, so looping until current day go to multiplying day. So for that, let's start the loop for current day. Current day start with the one. So current is uh, in range. Uh, range. Let me make a range one for current day and multiplying days. Uh, so whatever we can write. So multiplying. Multiplying days and multiplying days. If we write a nine, if we write ten, it comes to nine. So we need to add one. So make a ten e one. Um. Uh, and now let's uh, print current day and population. So print current day. We need space, so let's step and station. Close the fantasy. Now do the sum. So population population should go. So population, if it's two, we need to add um population. Multiplying our daily increase. So let's first have with population, and we are adding this amount in a daily increase multiplying population. So we will have answer right there. Let's see. Less. Let's run the program. All right, so for that, we had number two increase 30% and multiplying by 10. Or well, some kind of error. Number 24 population current date on what we made oh, population P capital. I'm sorry for that. Alright, control S. Let's see if it's work. Run two ten. Oh, my bad. Thirty. All right, something comes up, but um, we wanted something else, so let's let's run number two. Thirty percent and multiply ten. All right, so we got the right number, uh, but we need um something organized like this, so. Let's go here, make one more tab, and we need at least one space right here. So print so let's call add space. Right, control X, run, at 2, 30, and 10. All right, let's go. We got the answer right here.